times the desert had no shade. The sun burned the land to ruin. The rivers disappeared, and the animals hid underground. The people cried to Helios for mercy, but he didn't answer their prayers. As the plants withered in the heat, the hollow lands echoed with the crackle of fires. Then the winged Saina, the mediator of earth and sky, came from Ashara. She beheld the suffering desert and swooped down upon the hollow lands. Her feathers shaded the scorching sands. Her wings cooled the broken ground. Her tears fell to the dust where rivers were born. The land flourished under her gentle plumes. As life returned to the burnt expanse, the people crawled from their caves and saw a majestic silhouette against the open sky. They praised Saina and worshipped her likeness. She replied with a call that still echoes on the wind. Helios heard the call, and looking down upon the desert, grew irritated. His mighty works were undone, and his brilliance spurned. He called Vreka to his side, and implored the fiery god to strike Saina from the skies. Vrekor agreed, but as Saina was too strong, he asked Helios to lend him some of his fire as well. So Helios gave Vrekor the flames of the sun. A fire from the heavens struck Saina, and her plumage burst into flames. She flew high to cool her feathers and dove to extinguish the fires. Still nothing would cease the burning, and she knew that she was doomed. So she absorbed as much of the heat of the sun and the spirit of fire as she could and fell dead to the earth. Now only her bones remain, but she will rise again if life is threatened in the hollow lands. <laughs>